Day three of our Disney vacation. It's a little cloudy out today, and we're headed to Animal Kingdom. We just took a bus ride. Uh, in fact, it's the only way to get to uh, Animal Kingdom from Pop Century. And uh, we're about to go in the front gate, so join us for a little adventure. Hey, everybody. We're in the path coming in to Animal Kingdom. And I don't see what is actually been discussed where some of the rock statues what do you see here is that an elephant looks like an elephant maybe with the trunk here the ears i don't know honey i don't even know if you see him there. i don't know they got legs like it's a bear maybe i don't know it was suggested that these are shaped like animals if you look at them from certain directions. Just playing around. This is how Animal Kingdom gets around. Not doing their shows or their character meet and greets. Put everybody on a boat, go around the entire park. Again, Disney doing great things for the guests that are here that they cannot do uh, the meet and greets, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, coming across the first bridge. <laughs> really good shot of the Tree of Life. As you can see, this is a uh, bottleneck area. Hey, how's it going? Hey. <laughs> Yeah, definitely a bottleneck area, but if you just keep moving with your mask on, you will be good to go. Won't have any problems. And normally, this is a huge bottleneck because people cross the bridge and then not sure where they want to go, left, right, or straight. Ah, I see that the Dewa Bar is back open again. It was closed for quite a while and it was one of our staples or first stops whenever we came in. But I think we're going to take the safari ride up ahead uh, and we'll get back with it. Nice little snack. Sat down for a little bit in a nice area well away from others. Took her mask off, ate. Now we're getting on a, a Kilimanjaro safari. And as you can see, there's it says it's a 30 minute wait, but we're walking pretty much straight to the ride. Much Maybe nicer than when it's fully packed at 10 o'clock in the morning on a weekend during full capacity. See you on the ride. Safari guide today. Uh, if you look above your heads, you'll see a safari spotting guide to help you identify some of the animals out there on the reserve. If you take a look up here on our left, we're gonna see a couple of bongos. They're often known as the ghost of the forest. You very rarely see them. Both male and female bongos have horns and they're pointed back so they can move through the underbrush without getting tangled up. The male's horns are slightly thicker around. They're also about 32 to 36 inches long. Over on our right, that's no copy walking around. You'll see the stripes on their legs oh, at the shoulder. Only male greater kudu have horns, so these are females. And they rely on their sense of hearing more than their other senses. That's why their ears are a little bit larger. And catch a quick glimpse of that saddle built stork up on top of the hill. They can grow five feet tall and have There's a nine a foot wingspan. Instead of vocalizing, they'll rattle their bills to communicate. A large group of hippos is called a bloat. It's a bloat of hippos. And they walk or run on the bottom of the water. They can swim, they're just more often seen walking or running. And they make a wheeze honk sound to communicate. The more dominant the hippo, the more responses that they'll get. The grayish white birds are pink backed pelicans. During the mating season, they get a pink coloration to the skin on their back. And their wings span. Spring back and jump six feet in the air. They can also leap 13 feet. It's really cool, it's only three feet tall. 
There's also a couple of Ann Coley cattle on top of the hill. Their horns look like they could be flamboyant, but it's a flamboyant of flamingos. Garden flamingos are the largest species of flamingo. They're also the least pink. They get that pink coloration from beta carotene found in brine shrimp and other foods in their diet. So that was a lion's roar. It can get a lot louder than that. You can hear them almost five miles away. They usually roar to keep track of each other. They rest for 16 to 20 hours a day. They save all of their energy when they go hunting. She's like low key tracking us right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. Uh, the zebras? Uh, there was a few animals that were not out that normally not out but it is uh midday on a saturday and it's a little cooler and a lot of cloud cover today so um at the same time again three lines at the same time it's almost never done see it a bit all right right out of kilimanjaro into gorilla falls through monkey falls here and it's uh, starting to sprinkle rain a little bit so we may find a little cover to put on our raincoats this really depends on uh, how hard here just as you enter is the end of the line for avatar flight of passage wow. with this fine gentleman pointing out the end of the line here is the end of the line getting further and further out huh <laughs> and we haven't even fully got into the land I'm pretty sure it's uh, quite a wait, but uh, it uh, is a limited capacity, and they uh, they have to clean it very often since it's a high touch ride. So goes around and around. We up. There, if you look straight through the tunnel, the opening, that's where the line ends. That's a long line. I'm not sitting in that line. Flight of Passage and the Navi River Ride are both about an hour wait with no fast passes. And frequent stops with, for cleaning.
And if you can't tell, right now it's uh, raining, not particularly hard. But hard enough for people to scramble for ring coats and ponchos. I don't like a $10 poncho from Disney. I think uh, I might break out my ring. After a little bit of looking around and uh, checking the two queues, we decided uh, Pandora is not necessarily the land that we want to be. It's a long line for everything. Uh, and we're being attacked by Disney bubbles, uh, which is one of the great things for kids. They get a bubble maker and a big bottle of bubbles and they spend the next hour spreading bubbles all over the place. It's awesome. Keeps the kid quiet, the parents have. So, there's always a lot of questions about what do adults do when they go to Disney without the kids? Well, I can answer one of those questions right now. You go to the Nomad Lounge and you have a couple of drinks. You sit in a very cool lounge. For a period of time, cool off and relax, and have a couple of adult cocktails, enjoy yourself, and then go back and get another drink someplace else. So long as you're not getting drunk, you can enjoy yourself, have a few, and see the sights, ride all of the rides. Remember what it was like to not care about going to work, about traffic, or anything else. And you don't have to worry about the kids, because you're here without the kids. All right, back again. We've had a full day of doing little rides here and there and eating a whole lot of food. Now, on to Dino Land. And standby is still 25 minutes. It's not too bad, it's actually very good. It means it's uh, more or less a walk on. But as you can see, there's a handful of items that's open all around the park. Um, Still some closed items. We'll go into uh, the carnival area in a moment to uh, give you an update there. All right, for the kids, there's I know Rama. The primeval world. Does not look like it's operational this time. And again, None of the shops, not even the popcorn is being sold at this time. So as Dino Land goes, it's pretty much a bust. There's only one item in here that's here. Oh, leaving Dino Land and coming into Asia. All over the China area, you'll see the prayer flags hanging around. They're designed of what you'll see in Nepal. And the queue line for Expedition Everest. And what would normally be the light show, which has been canceled temporarily. And the bigger the camera, the more excited she gets. Wow, that's really cool. This is a lizard. Oh, I know. That's really cool, though. I mean, that's While we're talking, guess who comes up closer? Yeah. To do a little strutting. Yeah, they're massive animals. I mean, I guess there's the smaller one from the bang. So, what would you say would be your favorite part of the day, besides the rain? Food, dinner? Nomad's Lounge. Oh yeah, Snowmad's Lounge. Definitely best part Take of the day. Your, give your feet two hours rest in the middle two, of the day. A two hour rest, a uh, couple of drinks, and yes, 
one of the questions that everybody is asking is Yak and Yeti, is it open or is it not? And the Yak and Yeti restaurant is open. And Yak and Yeti is definitely one of the stars of the show. Are you saying you're hungry? No. No? I wonder if we could order to go. Maybe. I don't know. But that said, we're done for the day except for picking up food and heading back to the room. So we'll see you later. This is the end of our vacation. And until next time, see you later.